Hello and welcome to an update on the many patches method which was formerly the one patch method so I've had a bit of a think and tonight I'm going to go for no patches so what I'll do is I'll have one more roll up cigarette and then I will go to bed and then maybe tomorrow I will put a patch on in the morning, but you don't need any nicotine really. So I'll prepare my little roll up cigarette. Excuse me for wearing my pajamas. Nobody watches anyway, so it doesn't really matter. I've got some. Uh, He's there. Uh, is that backwards or forwards? Uh, rolling papers with a little picture of the pyramids. It's all good fun. I've got some uh, paper filter tips, which are good for the environment. I think the local birds like them. Not the women, I don't mean the women, I mean the actual birds in this in the nest. They seem to take the that's what happens to your teeth if you smoke. They seem to take the 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 used filters. They seem to take the used filters and add them to their nests. But maybe that's all in my imagination. I have a vivid imagination. So, if you have quit already, don't do this part. You don't need a cigarette. This is all part of the process. Every time I cut down is good. It adds time to my life, hopefully. In theory, anyway. So, cutting down is good. Quitting is good. Trying to quit is good. Now Kevin O'Hara says if you if you fail too many times then it cheapens your quit attempts and it makes it harder to quit so the the more times you fail. Uh that might be true but um you could take it as maybe it's a one percent chance that you'll succeed each time. So if you try enough times, maybe it'll work. My friends tell me I'm not very good at rolling cigarettes. How about that? So it's not too bad. Anyway, I bought some patches. They were uh, very expensive from the pharmacy. We just, my, my partner and I just drove past the pharmacy here and it was open at almost midnight, which is very unusual. But I think they have a scheme where uh, each pharmacy in the area takes it in turn to be open late. So that must have been what it was doing. I have some decaf coffee. I need a shave. I might have a nice shave in a minute. So, the question is, will I be able to wake up and resist the temptation? Because that's the key thing. Because you do get a buzz from a cigarette sometimes, particularly in the morning, particularly after a meal, something to do with the blood sugar, that is. Uh, so some cigarettes give you a little bit of a hit. So I I don't like to say you're missing it when you quit, but it's not there. But you get pleasure from other places instead. I do believe that. I believe you don't need the hit. I believe it's probably bad for you to have the hit from chemical means. And uh, your body is best at looking after itself. 
So any any pleasurable hits you get in the present will just detract from your life in the future somehow, one way or the other. That's the nature of psychiatric drugs. You can sort you can sort something out in the present, but you'll take away from your future self. With caffeine, you can make yourself awake now, and then you'll be tired later. So it's best to just, and you'll also, if you have caffeine, you'll lose the ability to control using your own power of your mind how awake you are. So if you're reliant on caffeine and coffee to keep you awake, you won't be able to say, oh, I'm going to force myself to stay awake using the power of my mind. Because by using caffeine habitually, that's what you've done to yourself. You've you've lost the power to control whether you're awake or not just by willpower. And as so, as and similarly with cigarettes, it's the hit you get from a cigarette is not it's not unique. It's it's a it's a burst of pleasure. It's uh, a book I'm reading by uh, Carolyn something or other, I think she's called, says that it raises the heart rate and, and that we can fuse that for a high. So maybe that's the case. I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to bed. So I'll try and quit in the morning. One last one. And then a patch. Maybe I'll put the patch on now. Yeah, I think that's what I'll do. Wait there. I've got some patches now. My partner is here. Hi, Magda. I'm recording a video for my fans. I don't have many fans. But I'm going to put a patch on. And this will help my followers to quit smoking. And me as well. I think it'll get zero views. Okay. Uh... So I'm taking out the patch. Here it is. I've prepared an area on my arm for putting the patch on. I had to go to the car to get the patches. Right, so I think what I'll do next is chop up the rolling papers up. As I've done in the past. You can see my big tummy there, massive tummy. All right, so I got some. I've been. What I have been doing is buying the cigarillos, which are about six pounds 
50 a pack for a pack of 10 cigarillos. Now that's the reason behind that is that you think I'll have these 10 and then I'll quit. And of course it's cheaper if you buy 20. Not much cheaper. Cheaper on average that is not. It's more expensive if you buy 20 just to contradict myself. But it's cheaper per cigarette or cigarillo. So now I've got no more papers, so that's a great thing. It'll help me get to sleep, finally. Seeing as it's just gone 1 a.m. And I need to get up very early tomorrow at about 8 o'clock. So now that's a weight off my shoulders. That's a weight load off my mind. That is such a relief. I've just got the one left. I've got the patch on, which is like the what they called the water bands or whatever they called us. I mentioned this in the past. I couldn't remember the name then. What are they called? Rubber bands? No. Water inflatable some things. When you're learning to swim, you have the, the arm armbands. That's it. The patch is like an armband. So I've got... I can't have any. Right, so I've got four patches left. Nicorette brand, but any other brand is fine. I believe they're nice and inexpensive in Australia. So in Australia, most cigarettes cost twice the price they are here, even factoring in the fact that their currency is $1 to 50p or something like that. I believe in Australia, nicotine patches and nicotine replacement for the products are quite inexpensive. So that's only fair, isn't it? Here in the UK, we've gone the way of saying nicotine replacement patches and gum are expensive. Cigarettes are expensive, but vapes are quite cheap. So it's fair enough, but I personally think that vapes are very, very bad for you. Not for everyone, but for people who can't get a grip on how much to use them, I think they're, they're worse than cigarettes because you can just vape. I could vape for an hour and I'd be sitting there vaping and vaping. With one of these, it takes two minutes and then you don't want any more for a good hour or so, usually. Excuse me for wiping my big nose. I, I woke up this morning and my watch had white things on it. It's like it had been scratched. I don't understand why. Anyway, I tried to wipe them off, but it's still a bit damaged. I've got some diamond paste that I can use to wipe it off, rub it off later. So to polish the watch face. Not that it's a particularly great watch. My friend Nick likes watches. I don't understand why. Anyway, I'm going to smoke and... Maybe read in bed. So, good night. Thank you for watching. Oh yes, I'll upload this video. Thank you for watching.